What's up, internet folks? We'll know Zach here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about road noise and rattles in 1980 through 86 Ford pickups. Now, I'm driving my 1980 Ford pickup. I'm going about 66 miles an hour down the freeway, and I'm able to actually talk to you, and you can hear me. So, uh, fairly equivalent to having a passenger over here. Uh, so, I want to tell you a few things that I've done to this truck to make it a little bit quieter going down the road. And then I'm going to talk about these things in general and uh, the challenges that they have for being a little loud on the freeway. Uh, so the first thing that I've done is uh, replaced all the door seals, uh, which was a huge one. Also adjusted the doors. Uh, they get way out of whack. Uh, they sag. They have a lot of road noise up at the top of the doors up here. So uh, I was actually able uh, adjust these pretty well so they're sealed up. It took a while for the seals to break in so that uh, the door actually shut and open, you know, without too much problem. Uh, but they're pretty good now. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've gone through and I've, I've, I've kind of padded a lot of the, the squeaks in the dash. I've gone through it, make sure all the screws are tight, bolts are tight, and, uh, you know, kind of adjust everything. So the dash really doesn't squeak on this thing. I've actually had it completely apart and put back together, so I was able to take the precautions and make sure that everything's right. Door panel over here squeaks, it rattles a little bit, I gotta fix that yet, but uh, I did put a bunch of new push pins in so that they don't rattle as much because every little noise just, you know, it all works together to make it loud. Um, and then other than that, uh, before I put the carpet kit in, I actually did uh, spray it with some uh, underlayment. Um, I had some rust problems, and so I took care of priming that, ground it down, primed it, reinforced it a little, and then I put underlayment, or the, uh, the underliner, I sprayed it down, and then I put the pad and then the carpet, and so that quieted it down quite a bit. Uh, this still doesn't have a headliner, it doesn't have plastics down the sides, or it doesn't have any plastic in the back, so I need to do something about that. I'm still trying to find a red headliner, and all the plastics for a single cab, and uh, that'll help a bunch and get this thing to where it's basically like new again. Uh, but the one thing that's working against it is it does have a visor. If you see my other videos, you probably saw the visor I put on this thing. It's a metal, old chrome visor that uh, it really looks cool, but man, is it loud. A uh, huge difference between having that and not having it, especially on a windy day. So, those are a few things that I've done to quiet this thing down. Now, the other thing that I'll talk about real quick is, is obviously engine noise is gonna be an issue. This is a really nice, quiet little 302. It's got uh, single exhaust out the back behind the tire. Um, and it also has an overdrive transmission, which I put in it from an 86. And uh, that means that it's running at lower RPM, which means it's not as loud. So there's another factor. Now the things in general about these trucks is they are not aerodynamic. In fact, the 79 was more aerodynamic than the 80. Uh, because in 80, the styling got a lot more square, as you know, rather than having the rounded look in the 70s and even the 60s. And that rounded look contributed to being more aerodynamic and quieter. The other thing about these trucks is they are a thinner metal. So this metal up here is way thinner than the metal they were using in 79. They were trying to save weight. So the gauge of metal is different. And I'm sure you've noticed that if you've had either. So road, road noise, wind noise is gonna be an issue when you've got metal that's gonna resonate a lot more. Uh, and so, you know, that's just how it is. The other thing is the windshield on these old trucks, and I'm talking all of them, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, uh, they, they were the, the recessed slightly windshield with the chrome around the outside and it just catches air. Now the new trucks, new cars have the, uh, the smooth windows, um, they have really no, they have a little rubber seal um, and so they got away with that wind catcher or from that wind catcher so it makes a huge difference in the, the sound coming into the cab. Uh, so uh, it's just what it is. It only can do so much. It can only be so quiet. You can do absolutely everything you can, and it's still you're going to hear that wind and, and stuff once you get up to 65 miles an hour or, or faster. It's just going to get loud. It's just all there is to it. So, anyways, there's my two cents on uh, working on these things, making them 
quieter and uh, making it more pleasurable to drive long distances. I won't drive mine anywhere. I'll drive it across the country. I don't care. I love these trucks and I don't care about a little wind noise, but uh, I do want to at least be able to have a conversation with the passenger and that's how I've gotten this one to that point. So anyways, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.